right, check it out. It's your move of the week. Today, we're going to go to self-defense headlock escape. This is really good for beginners, or like I always say, you got that drunk uncle on Christmas. You know what I mean? So check it out. So we go over here. Your partner puts you in the headlock escape. Now, it's very important when the person puts you in headlock escape is try not to let your two shoulders hit the mat. So what I'm going to do, I can either use my foot on the ground and I can shrimp, or I can pendulum my legs and get my elbow down as much as possible. Okay, I should not allow my partner to grab my elbow and lift me up. So I hide my elbow and I hide my chin. From here now, I'll take my left hand, I'll either hold his shoulder, his tricep, his bicep, whatever I can grab. But I'm always on the side of my hip and my chin is down. This will make a huge prevention for you. From here now, I will walk, I'll sink my hook inside. I can leave my foot in or I can hook it all the way underneath his calf. The most important part of this position is my bridge. So I'm gonna use my right foot to push and I'll lift my hip up and my shoulder will go forward. From here, option one will be the Kimura. I'll take my hands right here on his face and I'll put my weight on him and I'll look up to the ceiling and pop the grip. My hand will stay and my second hand will grab the wrist, put it behind his back and lift and finish with the Kimura here. What's important, is the prevention and also the get up, right? So when he gets to this headlock, I immediately get to my side. This really important. You cannot allow your shoulders to be flat. So my elbow is down so he cannot control my arm. My chin is down so his shoulder can't get into my neck and start to choke. So I hide myself as much as possible and my right shoulder is all the way underneath me. From here, my hand will grab right here on the shoulder. Go to the back side here, Patrick, please. So the most important thing I want you guys to see is how I bridge. So when I put my hook inside, look at my right foot. You see, I make a triangle here with my leg. I don't have dead leg. You see, my heel is up, I'm on my toes. And look, I lift my hip up and I push off my right toes, look. See, my knee comes off the floor. As I do that, I'll start to punch with my left shoulder so I send all my energy over. So I punch with my left shoulder, look, and I lift. That will send his face to the floor, and now he's gonna hold on, but once I put my hands right here on the mat and make a little cross face, I'm gonna look up, and I keep my grip here. My hand now will grab the wrist, I lean behind him, and then I'll finish. Sometimes what will happen is when you get the headlock, the guy will continue to roll. We'll say that for a different video. So he gets here, he gets in the headlock position, I can't allow for my arms to get like this. That'll be a different option. So I get to my side, elbow down, chin down. Hide yourself, make yourself a small target. Grab, I hook around, and I lock. I can stretch his leg, it's off balance him is fine. Sometimes I can combine this, and then I can get him under like this. But I use this off balance him, but most importantly, is I push with my right foot to look. That's the bridge I want. As I do that, I push with my left shoulder. I hook his leg so he cannot roll. I keep my hands on the mat and now I, I lift up. From when I lift up, I grab right here, hand to the head, go for the Kimura. If not, if he lets go still, look, I still have one hook. I slide my knee, create my seatbelt, sit to the other side, and now I'll take his back. Self-defense all day, work on it.